It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. So this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of December, okay? So this could happen at any time in December. I am going to do weeklies for December, so stay tuned for those, but this is for any time in December. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Just check to make sure that you are. Um, I have decided to open up private readings again, and the link is in the community section. It is also in the description of this video. Um, so yeah, if you want to book a reading, I pro I don't know how long I'll have them open for, you know, because I like to, uh, you know, <laughs> I open them and then I close them. So if you'd like a reading, uh, feel free to go to the community section of my page and find it, or underneath this video, you might be able to well, you should be able to find the link as well to book a reading. What do we have for Gemini for December? At any time in December, what do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Gemini? Nine of Cups. Wow, we got a celebration here. This is having fun, celebrating, celebrating with friends, other people. You may be going out and having drinks, going to a party. Um, very, 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 very happy by the looks of things. I mean, the Nine of Cups, that's extremely happy. So satisfied, plenty, having plenty. Um, it, it, it looks like it's a very um, celebratory situation by the looks of things. Somebody may be even celebrating. Obviously, this is some sort of celebration. Maybe going to a party. Um, and I know that there's social distancing. Maybe it's just with family. I don't know. Whatever this is, this is very, very, very happy. I mean, everybody has a smile on their face. Um, it's a celebration of some sort. It is. I, I can tell by the two cups. And it, I, I don't know if, if this has to do with a relationship. For some of you, you may be deepening a bond with somebody. Um, whatever is going on, it has to do with love in some way. And it's a lot of happiness here. This is... Mm, getting a lot of support from others too it's almost like everybody is so happy for you that's what i see from the card everybody is just so happy for you if you can see all the people around just like being toasted you know everybody's so happy congratulations uh, i don't know what it is but whatever it is this is a lot of happiness here for you um Gemini, Gemini, one card, please. Conflict and defeat. So this is the five of swords running away. Looks like somebody is running away from something, whether it's you or another person. These readings can always go vice versa. So somebody is getting out. It looks like they're running away. They're, they're giving up something. I'm getting out of here. Um, somebody may be leaving, leaving some sort of struggle behind. Um, pushing away. There's, a, there's like demons over here. Somebody is pushing something away. They're going in another direction. I don't want to be any part of it. And maybe that's why there's a celebration here. Somebody has decided to leave. I don't want to be a part of it. Uh, and it, there's, a, there's a reason to celebrate. That's what it looks like to me. Other people are wanting to engage. They're going into the battle. This guy's getting the hell out. So somebody's getting out. So that is definitely a reason to celebrate when you can go your own way and decide not to engage. Literally pushing people away. So somebody is pushing people away. It's like, no, I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of whatever it is that you're doing. Um, well, I guess we'll take those. Gemini. Unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Vase, a secret admirer. You may have a secret admirer. Harp, great happiness. And that makes sense with that Nine of Cups card. Desk, pay attention to your work. So you're going to need to really pay attention to your work this month. 
Great happiness is, this is going to be a month of happiness for you. I think you're going to be extremely happy. You may have a secret admirer. Um, your intuition is going to be really speaking to you this month. month. <laughs> okay, and you are being called to listen to it. Listen to your intuition. Believe, believe. If you think about unicorns, who really believes in unicorns? Not very many, but my advice is to believe, believe in yourself, believe, believe, believe. So if you get anything out of this reading, I would like you to believe in your intuition this month, okay? I do see that you are going to need to walk away. You're going to need to get out of a situation that is is troublesome by the looks of things, um, by that five of swords. That's just walk away, let them win. Sometimes the, the winner is the one that walks away, you know? So um, whatever's happening, you're going to have a good month. You are going to have a good month. You're going to really need to pay attention to what you're doing as well. I understand you may be celebrating. I don't know if you're celebrating a relationship or you're celebrating a proposal or you're celebrating a new contract or whatever it is that you're celebrating. You still have to pay attention to your work, okay? Um, make sure that you aren't uh, overdoing it, you know, because the Nine of Cups can be overdoing it too, you know, can be drinking too much or celebrating too much. So just try to keep it under wraps a little bit. Um, you've obviously been in some sort of situation where there's been a battle because of that Five of Swords. You know, maybe it's a hostile situation. Walking away is the best option. Do it. Do it so that you can have a happy life because happy life is here with a partner. Okay, you have an option for happiness with a partner that you uh, are very much in tune with. It feels like it's a perfect match. It is, but you have to walk away from something first, and I don't know what it is. Okay, um, Six of Wands. This is a card of victory. It's a card of making progress. Public recognition. You may be getting some public recognition this month. Um, something to do with the cards. Look at those cards all over the place. Um, it's in the cards. Something is in the. It's in the cards for you to be recognized. You're gonna about to get something that you worked really, really hard for. It's interesting. Pay attention to your work. I don't know what this is, but there's some sort of. Uh, public recognition. Everybody's going to be cheering you on. And I see it here too. Um, I feel like you may, I don't know if you're going to be the center of attention or something like that. You may be the center of attention. This is a victory. It is a victory. This is celebrating. Even somebody else may be leaving with this conflict and de defeat. If it's not you, Lee, maybe that's what makes you extremely happy. Somebody else could definitely be leaving. They may be walking away. Six of Wands. This is victory after a stressful situation. Emperor. Oh my gosh. So you're in control. You're in control. You're the, if you, especially if you are the masculine energy in this reading. This is taking control, being the boss. You're the ruler. You're in charge. So you're taking charge. This is about stability and structure and order. Something is about to go in your favor. Decision. A decision is about to be made. I feel like you're going to be signing something as well. You're going to be signing something this month. You're in charge. Interesting. But I also feel like there is there is somebody else here. There's a lot of people that are supporting you. There's a lot of people that are watching you. You are being watched, just so you know, Gemini. You are being watched. A lot of people admire you. You are definitely being admired. So I just so I need a rug in here. So you are you are highly, highly admired. 
You're admired for your capability. You're admired for your stability. You're admired for your structure. You're admired for your uh, sensibility. You're very, very sensible. We have a fighter here. Both these cards represent a fighter. So your 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 willingness to fight for things, I feel like you're going to get some sort of reward. Whatever, what is going on here? Eight of Cups. This is walking away. Saying goodbye. Somebody's saying goodbye. They are. They're leaving. And they are, I don't know if it's you or somebody else. They have made a decision to leave, to stop fighting, to, to, well, all the cards are going to be shown. So all the cards are going to be shown. Just to, if you are wondering if somebody has been able to get away with something, all the cards are going to be shown. I just wanted to tell you that. There's somebody that is in a position of authority that has some sort of information. Just, I don't know what that means for you, but whatever. Eight of Cups, this is walking away, going down another path, leaving a disappointing situation behind. You are leaving something behind. And you are headed towards great happiness. That's what's happening here. Because, and that is, that is, that's walking away, headed towards great happiness. So you are headed towards something that you are going, that is going to make you extremely happy. You're going to be right in your glory. And I don't know if it's somebody leaving you that makes you happy or what. Um, you know, the emperor is a boss. This person takes charge. It may not be an easy task, but they do it anyway. Because they, because they're so strong. Very, very, I can do it. I'm going to do what's best for everybody involved. And if it means leaving, then that's what I have to do. So... Eight of Pentacles. Work, 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 work. Look at that. Filling out all kinds of paperwork. You're going to be filling out a lot of paperwork this month, Gemini. I don't know what, what kind of paperwork you're filling out, but I saw it here and now I see it here. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. And we've got a desk here as well. Some of you are going to be doing a lot of paperwork. There's planning here going on as well. You're really going to be working hard to... Uh, go to a better place wherever it is the hell you're going because this is traveling the six of wands is a travel card it's it's movement moving so it's moving towards balance moving more of it moving towards uh, harmony you're taking a journey you're you're going in a different direction it's not easy it's going to be a lot of hard work a lot of paperwork so you're going to be doing a lot of paperwork this month this month a lot a lot of preparation by the looks of things. But if you think about these eights, eights are the time is now. And eights are a number of abundance. So you are, and this is abundance. And you are headed towards something that is very, very fulfilling and very abundant. But you must leave something behind that is very disappointing to you. It's a hostile situation. You've been in a hostile situation with somebody who likes to belittle and likes to fight and, you know, wants to win at all costs and, and they will do anything to win at all costs and it's really brought you down. I feel like this person is going to lose and I feel like you're going to win, whatever that means. Whatever that means because that, that nine of wands or that six of wands is a win card. Okay, I think you have a lot of support. Um, and maybe winning is walking away. That could be the case. Um, you will, will really, really, really be paying attention to your work. I, I feel like there's a feeling of despair by the looks on this, this person's face. We have somebody here that is is discontent. I feel like you may be worried. You may be worried if you're making the right decision or worried about your supporters or worried about the other people or but I think that you should be happy. I think that you should be happy. I think you're going to be happy. The Empress. The Empress mother and child. So may this may have something to do with a mother and a child uh, creating a new life. I mean we have a mother and a child here. These two people, 
it's a it's a mini me it's a mom and a mini me anyhow but this is creating a new life starting a new life This is creating a new life. It's a birth of a new life. You're starting a new life. Somebody is starting a new life. But it's not it's gonna be painful. And because giving birth is painful, and there's a lot of work involved here. I don't know if somebody's moving. Maybe planning because I feel I feel like there's planning here, but the Empress is a mother or a motherly type of figure who is very down to earth. This person uh, does everything with with love, so there's some sort of unconditional love here. The chariot. So the, I, you know, somebody could definitely be packing up and leaving home, moving. This is moving in a new direction, getting in the driver's seat, taking the lead, finding discipline. A lot of discipline here. We have a very uh, strong individual here that is a master. This is somebody that is going to be mastering their emotions this month. And moving in a new direction. They may be signing the paperwork for this or something like that. We have a father. We also have a mother and a child. So I'm not sure what is going on here. But may have something to do with a father um, or a boss or somebody that is in a management position. We have a businessman here. So I don't know if we have a businessman that is signing a new contract. Anyway, this is moving, getting in the driver's seat and going someplace, taking a journey. Somebody is taking a journey. This is a card of transformation. Hard, hard, hard work. Not easy. You're going to be really, really working hard on, I don't know, moving? I don't know if you guys are moving because, like, I mean, we're traveling or going someplace, working hard to to uh, succeed. This is a card of success. So you're going to be doing whatever it takes to succeed, and you are going to succeed. You definitely are. So there is definitely some success here. You're going to have plenty, nothing to worry about at all. That chariot, that is putting yourself in the in the driver's seat, taking control. And the emperor takes control as well. Somebody's going to be taking control. This is a fighter who doesn't give up. Leaving. Somebody is going someplace. With the eight of cups, the chariot, and the six of wands, they're done fighting. They're done battling. They just want to be loved. Because that empress, that's all about love. Something they've been working really, really hard on planning, and I don't know if they're pla they've been planning a move or planning a departure or planning to travel. There could be plans to travel, and I know that we're going through, you know, a COVID thing right now. But I'm just reading what the cards say. This is determination. It is mental strength with these two. We have somebody here that is very, very, very determined and very mentally strong that is leaving something very disappointing behind and they are headed right towards happiness. So I don't know who it is, but if it's you, congratulations. Um, I do see you having to work really, 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 really hard though this month. I think you're going to be working like crazy. Um, you're going to be getting a lot of support from people. Um, people are going to be uh, honoring you. They're going to be recognizing you. They're going to be looking up to you. Okay, they do look up to you. They see you. It's almost like you're a hero or something. Um, 
because of that six of wands. Three of Wands reverse. Now that's unprepared. This is not prepared. Lack of foresight. You may not be prepared for something. There could be a, a sudden departure or a sudden arrival. Four of Cups. Somebody may be sick. They may be they may be really, really sick. Um, Four of Cups, this happens to be um, really, really discontent, worried, anxious. Four of Cups, missing something. Somebody is missing something. Somebody has lost an opportunity. They ignored, they ignored something and now they, they just can't see. They can't see that there's an opportunity. We have somebody here that, who is in their, their mind. They're in their mind. They're, they're not being, they're, maybe they're losing their mind. they they can't think. We are, we're, yeah, that's what it is. Can't, I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you. I think it's somebody around you. There's somebody around you that... Is really, really struggling. They are really, 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 really struggling. And I feel like uh, they're not, they're missing something. Somebody is missing something on an individual. Or this individual is missing something very, very distraught. We have a distraught individual here who is really, really struggling. And they may be struggling with your move if you've moved on from something they're struggling with your because this is they're struggling with your success i think we have somebody here that in your reading and i don't think it's you that has some mental problems i just do and i feel like this person is ignorant i, I hate to say that but that's what i get I feel like this person is ignorant. I feel like they're very shallow. They're very superficial. Anyhow, I feel like this month you are going to be put in, put in a position. You're going to be put in a position of authority maybe. Or you're going to be making a decision that moves you in a new direction. And you have somebody that is not going to be happy with your decision. But you have to do what's right for everybody around you. So I think that's what you're going to be doing. But I also feel like that, like uh, there's there's somebody else that is not going to be happy. They're not going to be happy with, with the support that you receive. Or they're not going to be happy with the outcome or something like that. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody is unprepared. I think all your work, your hard work is going to pay off this month. I feel like somebody, something has been missing and it's going to be seen. You know what I mean? So it's going to be seen. Everybody's going to, everybody's going to find out. The moon. Oh, here it is. I just, I just said this card. Everybody's going to find out. It's been hidden. I didn't even have the card yet. That is, that's the meaning of the card. All is not as it seems. Something has been hidden. It's going to be revealed. I mean, I, it is what it is. So, and it, so get prepared. Get prepared for something to be revealed. Um, there are some sort of hidden forces here. Somebody has been hiding something. They've been hiding something very, very well. But I feel like they're gonna they're they're losing their mind they're, because you can only lie for so long before it eats you alive. This person and so it's the truth is gonna come out because this person can't master their emotions. I think you're gonna be mastering yours. Anyhow, um, I 
there's something that has been an illusion, okay? I feel like there's an unclear path ahead, but you have to push that fear aside. Don't don't let fear stop you. You know? Show no weakness. Show no weakness during this time. Be ready for a battle. And I say that because of the Six of Wands and the Emperor. Be ready. Be ready to fight. Be ready to fight for what you want. And if it means walking away from people that don't support you, or from people that lie to you, or whatever, then whatever it is, it is. I think you are unprepared for, or somebody is, somebody is unprepared for some sort of reveal. Okay, something is about to be revealed with that moon card. I think we got a liar here. I think we got a liar. I feel like this liar is going to say something to the wrong person and it's going to cause an uproar and I don't need the tower. But this is going to make you extremely happy, however that resonates with you. In the end. Good luck.